G-Rex run another one What's new pussy cat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's new pussy cat? Whoa, 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 whoa. Six views uncut episode 38. Double H in the building with me. Ow. Let's get into the songs of the week here. Man. All the song. Imagine this was considered like a big budget video back in the day. <laughs> Yo, B, six views uncut episode 38. Your boy, Gutsy Guts. Before we get into all the intros and shit, we're going to like kind of switch it up because we parted today. No guest. Ow. People, left, right, ain't no way. When we do six views uncut, he's got to be playing some different music when I step in the building, B. Like his music. <laughs> oh my god, I had to walk into here to listen to I'm not denying it. I'm a straight rider. You don't wanna, wanna fuck with me. me. I know this the Tupac or any of the left, but I wanna hear that shit coming oh, in my G. My god. <laughs> Disrespect, yo. I'm being real, fam. Like, save that when we love hip hop, you know, you can play your tunes that you get into the vibe. <laughs> I wanna get into mixy vibes, B. Oh Lee, what are you, you know trying what I'm to saying? hear? I don't know though. Like today, I don't know. I'm I, the, the weather like has everything mashed up, so I don't know what I would want to hear. Mm. But not pop. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't want to listen to pop. Like I even said, if it was like Biggie or or Jay or I'm a straight fighter. You don't want to fuck with all the real ones. Why the streets is a rider? Why would you? This is a hard tune though. That's a big tune. That's enough. Shout out to um Cameron and them for remixing it. Hey. Dipset, dipset. But yeah, it's your boy Gutsy Guts, Guts Gotti, Viral G, uh Ginobili G in the building. Jeez. Uh, what is it? Do Rag Daddy rolling up the fat. Uh, Do Rag Daddy. Daddy. I don't remember it, man. I'm not a rapper. But yeah, you already know six views uncut. Uncut. Make sure you do all that social media stuff. Like, comment, subscribe. I can't remember, but like the buttons will be somewhere down here. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Subscribe. Hit them button there. Share that bad boy too. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Also, too, like what helps us in the like the algorithms, hit the like button. Let's get these all these videos that are dropping this week. Get them to like a hundred, two hundred likes, five hundred likes. Sorry, I have your light in my back. Sounded like a true YouTuber right now. <laughs> I'm learning the things, man. I'm trying. I'm trying here. I got up with like um do my little intro here but yeah uh shout out toronto shout out the team like usual we love hip-hop just had a four-year anniversary hey. go down big freaking deal shout out to man then man saying friday hurt Gucci, Rahir, Empress. You know what I'm everybody from before aj k lucas savvy the ghost just everybody mm, that's been a part of the team people i don't know about too you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Just big it up. It's a big deal. Shout out Muscle. I, I know he he gave you guys a little shout out. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's been like giving you guys a little shout out. Um, It's been a couple of days. Huh? Intro first. Intro first. <laughs> My bad. To the right of me. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, Toronto or Canada? It's your boy, Friday Ricky Dread, a.k.a. Um, Double H, a.k.a. Peaceful Rick, a.k.a. Um, live whore. Live whore in the building. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Staying warm. <laughs> it's been warm. What's popping, though? Nothing, man. Nothing. Um, really quick before we get into that little four-year anniversary subject. Uh, make sure also to watch all the shows that are on the network. Um, Zay Link. Zay Links. Uh, the Ep news. Episode 13. Oh, oh ep I episode 13 um, featuring Gutsy Guts. Hey, man. Oh, you know holy. We did a crossover collabo thing, you know what I'm saying? Six views uncut, met Zay Links, you know what I'm saying? Demonetization Guts. Nothing <laughs> <laughs> went green? No, actually, went green. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Same word. Shout out to the green. The story about when you had to break the bed and then you had to go into the fetal position after. <laughs> I into all that tying up, whipping up. Watch, go, watch the episode to get watch. that story. Yeah, man, really dope. Um, shout out Alize and everything she's doing. Yes. Lucky thirteen. So you know what I'm saying. Big up the ladies. You know what I'm saying. Definitely. Also, two. Um, we just did it. it free. We're working, man. 2K Baby interviews probably dropping very soon. Mm. Roadrunner interviews out now. Ace, um, Ace on Eastwood interview out now. As well as Lola Buns. She should be out by the time this drops, right? No, by, um, actually, Lola Buns will be dropping in about a week. Yeah, so check out the Lola Buns when it drops. And people, listen, I'm going to be on y'all. Because if Lola Buns doesn't hit 10K, mm. 
You guys are the problems because we took a female who's not doing fuckery, who's not shaking her ass. She's giving you guys bars. She's street. She's real. So I don't want to see less than 10K on that video, bro. Mm. I don't care what y'all see. And if you're not telling a friend, yo, We Love Hip Hop interviewed um, Lola Buns. Femi Lawson was there too. The broski was... Sorry Facts. to the next broski that we don't know. But yeah, just the whole family is out there. A.Y. Lawson. A.Y. Lawson. Mm-hmm. Shout him out. But yeah, the fact that um, we, we we were able to get her and interview her. And you guys always talk about the, the other females. And we, we just put focus on one female. And she spit bars. And she spit bars. Blood clot. Y'all need to turn that interview the blood clot up, bro. Real shit. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Salute yeah. to Lola Buns, yo. Yeah, salute Lola. Um, Gutsy's on his rant for vibe yeah, today. I'm feeling it. Let's go! Man, the energy is there, y'all. But yeah, no, no, no. Because we get it all the time. They're there. Oh, Chroma, the fam. Chroma's messaged me in my comments, and the fucking thing went off. Like, oh, look, 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 look. I'm not even promoting. She's not even the girl in the freaking video. But you guys are saying, look, 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 Gutsy, look, look. Promoting the, the girl. Check, the check cleared, eh, Guts? <laughs> Hey, 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 keep that out of low, keep that out of low. Well, you said the EMT came in, eh? Yeah, hey. Hey. <laughs> but yeah, shout out Lola Bun, shout out all the Gatham that are out there doing their thing, putting in work in the city. Yeah, man. So really quick before we get into this news again, you I know? wanted to go back to it. Four year anniversary. We love hip hop. They're fucking, I'm going to say it. The hottest hip hop urban fucking podcast in Canada. Cool, no? In Canada, not Toronto, in Canada, the whole Canada. How does it feel? A couple of days passed now. I know you're a working man, but did you get any time to really sit back and, and look back and be like, yo, this is a lot of work I put in. There's a lot of a lot of moments, a lot of legendary interviews. Like, um, I wasn't really thinking back on the interviews. I'm just more thinking about thinking on the impact. Like, mm. So many people hit me up whether it's DMs, phone calls, different things like that. Like, yo, congratulations. And yo, fam, like sometimes I get messages and I don't want to sound like a pussy or anything like that, but fuck it. That should be making a thug tear want to come to my eye sometimes, fam. Nah, that's real, fam. Like when a nigga messaged me and they're like, yo, really respect for what y'all doing for the city. And yo, you, you know, or whatever you said on a sudden something, something like whether it's a live or on your show or whatever has really fucking helped me and i now i'm got the battery in my back yo that shit that shit that shit means a lot to me fam yeah it does as, as somebody that's new to it too that when i get it too i'm just like really like mm-hmm. yo when you said that shit on the pod fam that that i'm like you listen to me i'm like mm-hmm. say a word but it, it, it's good to have that feeling most definitely and like i always tell you i gotta give you guys your flowers every day you no her respect. sab everybody that brought me into this like Y'all is giving, I keep saying this, and I want to give y'all y'all flowers while you're here. I don't know where I would have been if if this wasn't for We Love Hip Hop. So I thank you guys for the platform, the opportunity. I'm taking advantage of that motherfucker like a bitch. As you should. But yeah. Um, yeah. I probably asked you this before on like the two the, the 200 episode, but another memory, and it doesn't even have to be We Love Hip Hop, mm. but just the, the network itself. A memory that sticks out to you. Well, a you know, moment. you were talking about when I uh, when you came in and I was playing all that '90s hip hop shit, right? <laughs> yes, yes. But I was listening to Smith and Wesson. Shout out to Tech and Steel from Smith and Wesson, the, mm. aka the Coco Brothers. You know what I'm saying? And the song Bucktown. I'm there listening to it and I'm thinking to myself, I interviewed these niggas. Line trying to get uh, Rikers Island closed straight up and down. It needs to be. It needs to. Word up. Um, so like back to the music stuff, right? Um, let's get to something like we're smoking a lot of weed, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I remember, um, I used to be smoking a lot of um, yard weed. Yard weed. Yard weed is the god weed. Smoke weed with these niggas around. Yeah, me. yeah, yeah. And it wasn't like they, they didn't treat me like a media person. You know what I'm saying? Where they're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here's your answers for your questions, and like, peace. Don't god, talk to yeah. me. Yeah. Like. We, Here's your drop and I'm out of here. Yeah, like don't like, ask me for it later. <laughs> we built a bond. I feel like you know what I'm saying. Like I, I still fuck with them to today. Like I'll, they'll hit me. Um, like I'll send them a comment on a on a post or whatever, and they're like, ah ah, guan guan fada. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, oh yes. shit. Like even though we're like technically the same age, these were my childhood heroes. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So like shit like that that. It stands out to me, even though it's not one of the biggest moments in the in the in the network history. To me, that shit stands up. Facts. You know that's that's proper. 
the two for me, uh, we love hip hop, obviously. <laughs> Gotta go to myself, you know, like bigging myself up a little bit. But mm-hmm. the thoroughbred moment always to me, it kind of felt like maybe I can be the entertain. Like I always looked at myself like not the entertainer type. Mm. Like I was behind the scenes entertainment. Like I make funny jokes and this and that and the third. But yeah. to like do this thoroughbred thing, do <laughs> slap me up in four moves, do the push ups. I was like, yo, slap maybe. and of chess, of chess, yeah, chess, chess. Slap <laughs> me up in chess. Sorry, I know Toronto already, but um, oh, that sounds like sounds like a whole mess. <laughs> But um yeah, just that situation made me feel like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I can maybe I can do this thing here. You know what I'm saying? Be a little bit different. And also the LB, even though I was behind the scenes of that, just I seeing... keep on forgetting you filmed that. Yeah. Holy. Yeah. The, the the last the last time LB was here. Mm. So just that whole experience with uh Prince Don, J Mac, all of them here, like MK, yeah. MK, it was just I don't know, it was just different to see the like the come up, you know what I'm saying, of LB, mm. because I always watched this guy from when he was doing whatever songs. I was just like, Bro, really, this kid's gonna rap? And just to see the the growth as an artist, yeah, that was really dope to be a part of. And I was just like, man, like we got something here with this pot, man. Yeah, man, we it's, it's we 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 we've evolved into a a beautiful thing, man. Like from just a podcast that you know, with with Herc and I sitting there smoking weed, talking shit with the guest. To like multiple shows, fam. I, I showed a shorty in the corner store the other day or today. Oh yeah, listen to our podcast because I'm still doing word of mouth. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I never assume that people know who the fuck we are. That's promo. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll tell somebody just randomly, yo, yeah, I do a podcast. You should check it out on Spotify. Mm-hmm. And then I'll show them, you know, hey, subscribe to us on YouTube or whatever. Bro, my Uber drivers hate me. <laughs> because mm-hmm. that's what that's what yo, yo, you got that, you got um pod, we can listen to the podcast. Yo, run this podcast right here. Run mm. it. Oh, that guy sounds like you. It is me. It is, <laughs> it is ever, me, sis. <laughs> okay. Have you ever been stopped by Uber driver? Like, recognized by Uber, Uber yeah. driver? Yeah, I have. <laughs> a few times because you sometimes you get the mandem. Like, there's certain, not saying like they're shooter mandem, but the mm-hmm. mandem that just, they're, they're regular mandem, you know what I'm saying? They're making their money, driving around things. Mm-hmm. And I got in the car and the guy's just looking at me. Mm-hmm. I, I wouldn't even say he's a mandem. He was Indian or whatever. I apologize. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, he was just watching me. He was playing like music, like Pressel and shit like that. So then like, I can't remember what happened. I must have called like Bucci or somebody and he was just like, yo, you're on that podcast, right? <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, yeah, yeah, you're on We Love Hip Hop. You're on We Love. And I'm like, not nah, my first instinct always is nope, nope, nope. Because again, I'm new to this, bro. I'm not used to people like, yeah, yeah, I know you as Guts, the guy from We Love Hip Hop. Like, mm. So my instinct is always, nah, fam, I love you guys and listen to you guys all the time. Yo, uh, um, Biz Loke interview, yo, uh, that Biz was... Look, the- that's all. I was like, yeah, yeah, way. yeah, that was uh, crazy. I wasn't there for that. No, 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 yeah, right. No, 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 that, that, yeah, that episode was crazy, man. I was just in the bag, just chilling. <laughs> <laughs> Captain House Guts. <laughs> oh, this is a Captain House I was just watching story. that shit from the bin. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> facts, fam. I'm in the bin like, yo, what the fuck is... I'm there telling everybody, sorry guys, I know, we're podding today. Mm-hmm. I don't even care. Talk your Not shit, sorry, nigga. man. Yeah, we podded. Get used to it. Um, I'm right. in the bin. <laughs> I got a, I got a sound effect in there. Oh, I found Woo! it. <laughs> we back. <laughs> but yeah, I was in the um in the bin, and I always I always tell the man them like Toronto needs like a 106 in park. They mm-hmm. need something, you know. Even like how Rap City came back with um T Rex. Yeah, I felt like if they would have put more emphasis so on that, yeah, yeah, that would have worked, fam. I felt like that was a good idea. They brought back like the freestyle. I didn't even know if Toronto had a freestyle battling like that back. In no, the day, on but... on on Rap City, um, T Rex was doing the the battles, the, the battles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that was new. Toronto yeah. never had that on TV that I remember. Not before that. So I felt like I I used to always like in the bin. I used to heavy push that like yo fam like when I come out mm. I'm gonna push hard like yo I'm telling everybody yeah I'm gonna get this production place and da 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 yo I used to talk the most shit yeah. and then I went to camp and should... shout out camp yo I'm not camp fed anyways let's just see <laughs> I yeah shout out we love pop <laughs> I wanna put the money on blast. <laughs> But then, well, fuck, the fans already know what I'm going. Fuck, we were watching the thing in there, B. Fire! We were watching here, I'm up 2 o'clock in the night. Like, yo, what the fuck? How the fuck these guys doing this interview shit? Like, how does it... That's crazy to me that Mandem and Ben are watching We Love Hip Hop. Yeah, fam. It, that still hasn't... I'm still not over that, fam. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, of, of mm-hmm. all the things that you can, like... Because you have a limit of things that you can get, right? Yeah. Like, 
it's it's us that you're gonna watch i'm fucking like honored bro you know what i'm saying like yeah, besides your story like there's other stories the that i've heard good, yeah and i'm like damn mm-hmm. so that's why like like i'm like we there's no we're not even started yet far less more than like <laughs> anytime stopping you know what like, I'm, I'm saying not, i'm not even a year in and if you guys see how i'm working i'm trying to work harder than this guy he mm. works we keep telling him, you gotta plug the fuck out which he does but he still works hard as fuck so if when yeah. I'm working as harder, no homework or whatever, when I'm, I ain't got time for nobody, I ain't answering no DMs, you guys be messaging me and you don't even get a seed, yeah, that's when, that's when I'll be like, yeah, I've done my job, but Facts. I got, I got years to go, so, and I ain't stopping, so. Yeah, we're a baby, we're a baby network. I was going to say baby podcast, but like, Mm-mm. we're more than a pod. Technically, in like pod years, you'd probably like teenagers, but no, mm-hmm. maybe around there. No, no, I think we're still tweens. <laughs> Like, we're not even a teenager yet, if it was a podcast. Yeah, middle like, school, maybe. Like, yeah. middle school. Once we hit, like, that school. eighth year or, like, seventh year, then it's like, okay, now you're a teenager. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Shout out all the pods out there in Toronto, too. Um, I don't know all of them off by heart, but I remember um, Cats got one. Mm-hmm. A box power, I believe. Shout out Dill Stewart in his podcast that he's got Extra there. gravy. Extra gravy podcast. Um, I'm just doing the Toronto ones. Shout out Joe. Joe <laughs> yeah, Button podcast, you know. <laughs> the man, them. It's not a secret that we fucking watch that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, 